the most uh, exciting thing about the night was the fact that our kids found a way to win. And I think uh, one of our seniors, Kelsey McCray, probably said it best. You know, he just said that's the first time in his career here that a close game went our way. And, and our kids found a way to make a play. And um, we obviously did not play as well as we would hope as coaches and as fans. And um, but the bottom line is you find a way to win, and, and it counts all the same, whether it was pretty or ugly. And the great thing is our defense found a way on fourth and one to make a huge stop, and then our offense uh, was able to put together a very important drive at a critical time and make plays and, and come out on the win and just thrilled with the, the uh, level of excitement in the locker room. Um, I've been a part of uh, winning the Egg Bowl a couple times, and or one time, and that was very exciting. And uh, state championship games, but I don't know if I've experienced a uh, locker room with more joy um, than I did Saturday. So thrilled to come off that win. And uh, now we've got to try to accomplish another task that uh, hasn't been done around here in a while, and that's win two consecutive uh, road conference games. Well, I think that w we probably can learn more maybe from this type of win, and, and it may boost our confidence and our belief in ourselves more than maybe winning by two scores. That's uh, what we're going to concentrate and, and hope and, and preach anyway. Um, you know, our offense has moved the ball pretty regularly. Um, you know, and I know we're second in the conference in scoring right now, but I sure feel like we're leaving a lot of points out there and we missed some, some field goals the other day that would have put us up two scores and, and maybe taking them out of uh, what they're comfortable doing a little bit. but. Um, I think it says a lot about us being able to, to make the drive when it counts. And, you know, how big was Ryan Applin and Dwayne Frampton in those drives and, and others too. But, uh, you know, Applin, uh, you know, seems to play his best when, when he has to. And, you know, this whole, it is a mindset and it's not going to happen overnight. We, we obviously have improved statistically in a lot of areas uh, from last year, defensively, special teams, offensive is even up. Um, but that doesn't mean that, uh, that we're going to be guaranteed wins all of a sudden because that's a whole other animal in the way you think of yourselves and the attitude in which you take on the road or at home. And so I do think it's a, a mindset that, that our kids, and I think last week was a huge step, us coming away from a win to hopefully uh, allowing us to embrace being on the road just like we do being at home. But it, stopping the run, they've done extremely well. I mean, I was looking at the stats here. You know, they're the number two rated defense in the Sun Belt Conference after playing three, you know, arguably top 20 programs, top 25 programs in the nation, and they're still number two in the conference in total defense, so um, behind our guys. So should be two really good defenses uh, on the field. We haven't seen a team that's committed to the pass as they are. Not that they don't run the ball, but it's no doubt that they are, don't mind throwing it. Excellent quarterback in, in Colton Browning and really nice receivers. And, uh, you know, they'll be in four and five wides, and we really haven't seen that from anyone. Um, Memphis got a little of it, but Memphis didn't throw it down the field. Uh, these guys, you know, they, they have a good attack and, you know, I think are building off some of the confidence that they got last year. They're, they're besides FIU, they returned the most guys um, in the Sun Belt Conference. And I listened to Coach Barry's conference call this morning, and they're excited about having a week off to get healthy and, and get their legs back under them for this, this game. And I'm sure it'll be a, a great task. But the, the thing that they do offensively that we haven't seen a lot of is they're really a true spread team.
Same set with three receivers all split left. Play action. Applin rolling left. Going deep for Stockamer. Caught inside the 30. Stock will be tackled. Once again, good starting field position as the Hilltoppers bring five. Applin steps up, makes a pump fake, going to keep it across the 40. First down across the 45, across midfield. So second and a little more than two here. Three receivers split right, Jarbo to the left. Applin flushed out, rolls right. Ryan pump fakes, going deep right side for Frampton. Caught! What a catch by Fram at the 36-yard line. Applin in that same set has Thornton and Fleming in the backfield with him. Three receivers, two to the right, Jarbo to the left. Throw it complete to Fleming. Out across the 35. First down, breaks out of a couple of tackles. They stay trying to avoid going three and out on their first possession. Lawson in the backfield with Applin. Applin with time, throws it out complete. Caught for a first down. Lawson out across the 40. Here in the fourth quarter. From the Western Kentucky 33, Applin rolls left, going deep left side, caught by Frampton, breaks a tackle, he's in, touchdown Arkansas State. Three receivers make it four now. Frampton and Jarbo to the left, Lucas and Stockhammer to the right. Applin, quick drop, throw it out left side, caught. Frampton across the five, all the way down to the one yard line, first and goal coming up for the Red Wolves. Loss in the lone setback behind Applin, Lawson will hand it off to Frampton. Going deep for Applin. Caught at the 10. Cuts back inside across the 5 into the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Applin on first down from the Western 47. Going deep for Jarbo. It is caught inside the 10-yard line. It's Applin to Jarbo for a huge gain. Dwayne Frampton ready to return, standing at his own 25 for the Red Wolves. Breakfield gets it away. Beautiful. High spiraling punt. Frampton goes back to the nine to receive it. Breaks out a one tackle. Running right across the 15. Frampton out across the 20. 25, 30. 35, he's across the 40. Frampton finally knocked out of bounds. Jakes will hand it off to Rainey. Running right, and Ooh. he runs right into Don Jones. DJ with a big tackle. A.J. Hill's also there. Bosch in as the fullback, Rainey the tailback. Deep drop for Jakes going deep right side, and it is intercepted by Daryl Feimster at the 35-yard line of Arkansas State. Feimster with his second pick of the year. Four receivers for Applin. Applin will hand it off to Lawson. He's in. Touchdown, Arkansas State. They have taken the lead with 43 seconds remaining in the game. Jones, the fullback, normally in the backfield with Jakes. And the pass is intercepted by Kushan Lee. Lee makes the pick at the 30, and he goes down at the 26, second pick of the half. A-State has it back. High formation here. Jones, the fullback, Rainey, the tailback. Hand it off to Rainey up the middle. They're going to stop him short. A-State will get the football back. They go to Rainey up the middle. He goes nowhere. The Red Wolves still have plenty of life. With 2.39 remaining, A-State... Gets a fourth down stand and the football back. Last play. Jakes rolling right, being chased by Robertson. And he'll be sacked by Justin Robertson to end the ball game.